Oh my gosh, where was this feature when my father was alive? There is a feature in Zoom, which I have to share with you today, which may be a game changer for many in the sandwich generation. Those of us who have kids, but also have parents who were occasionally supporting in technology, there is a feature built into Zoom, which goes well beyond the social connection benefits that we get from Zoom. It's called Zoom Remote Control, and it allows us to take remote control over somebody else's computer, not for nefarious purposes, but for the purpose of support, for the purpose of education, for the purpose of helping. And it's free and built into Zoom, and I'm gonna show it to you today on Dottotech. Steve Dotto here, how the heck are you doing this fine day? And today we're gonna to be taking a look at a feature that's built into Zoom called Zoom Remote Control. If you go into your settings, you'll find a switch, a toggle switch that will allow you to turn it on and this is what it does. During screen sharing, the person who is sharing can allow others to control the shared content. In other words, you can take over the screen of the person who is sharing their screen. So what does that mean, practically speaking? Well, there are a lot of purposes that this will work for, but the one which just leaps to mind for me is technical support, is helping somebody out with something on their computer, especially for those of us who have parents that are maybe a little bit intimidated by the settings on their computer and afraid to go into the control panel and adjust things, this will allow you to take over their computer and remotely control it and remotely set things up. It is pretty cool. Now it's something that I haven't used before, but fortunately a member of my team, April, has done it quite often. So I asked her to take me on a tour. What say you and I and April now explore remote control in Zoom? Hey April, how the heck you doing? I'm good, how are you? I am good. So here's what we wanna look at today is I wanna look at Zoom remote access. And I gotta tell you the truth, I've never used it but ah. it's something that you told me that you've used before. I have, I have, and it's been super helpful for um, when I'm working with somebody doing a training session and somebody's having a hard time kind of figuring out something. A lot of times I'm, I take over their remote um, and I kind of lead them to where they need to be. And what's nice is that as I'm doing um, when they're sharing their screen and I use the remote, if the, then they take over the remote back, it's not a back and forth where there's this big notification. Um, so it's kind of cool. Yeah. Okay. I like so it let's, so let's do it right now. So the person whose computer needs to be controlled shares the screen yep. with the other person. So you share your screen with me right now. All right. So I'm going to share my screen and you're going to see my desktop here, but. And I see view options at the top of my screen. Yep. That's what and I in on. the, yep. And in the view options at the top of the screen, there's a draw in the drop down. you'll see request to. Um, remote control. Remote. I've got that right there. And yep. I've sent you a request. So now you've yes, received so a request. I re and now I just need to re approve it. So now you should have access to my you. screen. So I click to start the remote. So now it says right here, I'm controlling April Woodcock's screen. So yes. if I go here and I, okay, let's, what have you got? You got Snagit. I'm going to open your Snagit. I hope you don't have anything bad in Snagit. So this is actually, do you see on your computer screen? We'll get you to do this on my side in a moment. But you but see. Snagit it. did open. I have three screens though. So I would go to my, um, I would go to my Chrome down on the bottom and you should be able to, can you see my Chrome? Uh, just a minute. I will find it. Keep going, keep going right there. There is. Oh, so, oh, you've got multiple monitors. There it is. So yeah, now I'm so opening. That's... So I'm actually opening your browser window and I'm readjusting it. And I can, can go click. in. So this is our chat. So I can actually chat to me. Yep. I'm actually sending a text <laughs> a message <laughs> to me. You are the best boss. There it is. Oh boy. And I just got notifications. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. April says I'm the best boss. Thank you, April. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. So this, so people, but the key here is if you are supporting somebody, I can also do this, which is I think essential. I can go into your system preferences at this point here. I right. can go in and I can say, okay, you're having issues with your audio. Let me take over 
uh, mom, dad, or anybody else, let me take over and let me adjust your audio settings and make it all work for you. Because so often people have issues with their computer settings. It's, 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 these are the issues that people have trouble with. And being able to go in and adjust the computer settings, the system preferences, is, is, is essential. And this would work the same in both Windows and Mac. And actually, if you think about it, you can be on a Mac computer and you could service and help your parents or somebody else on their Windows computer this way as yes. well, couldn't you? Yes, you can. Yeah. And actually, most recently, I do um, volunteer work for a veterans organization and Zoom is one of the tools they've been using. So I actually use this feature to show them how to go in, set up a webinar, how to go in um, and kind of walk them through Zoom and launching from start to finish the webinar because they weren't sure. Um, and clearly, when you, sometimes when you're sharing it on your own screen, they can't see all of those features. So I took over the remote and walked them through step by step. And it was recorded. So they actually got the recording yes. to use for other team members, which was perfect. That's excellent. Now, when you want to take over the screen, what happens? So I'm just going to click on my mouse. And when, as soon as you click on your mouse, you take back over the control of the mouse. Yep. Now, can I take back control again by clicking again on the screen? And now I you have can. control of your mouse once again. Yes. So you can tag team back and forth. I guess there's a certain protocol that it can get a little bit frustrating if people are constantly taking back control of their own mouse. Right. Now, do you want me to, do you want to share your screen? I will, but I'm going to just point out for the, everybody watching on YouTube that you have more tabs open than even I have. <laughs> Maybe, could be. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to stop participant sharing. Okay. And now I am going to share my screen and I've got the browser window open with a blog post in it that we might be having issues with, for example. So I'm okay. going to share screen and I'm just going to share the, that browser window. I'm going to share that actual browser window with you. Okay. So now you've got that being Thanks. shared. So this yep. is our last so post. Now I'm going to view options. I'm going to request, request remote control. And there, mm -hmm. is, there it is. I don't you, see it. You have... Um, oh, your screen. You oh, there it is. Up. Yeah, I got the, the pop-up here. So I couldn't see the pop-up, just want to let well, you know. Well, there's, yeah. there's also a setting that has to happen in your security settings. In this particular case, that, the, that's built into Apple's system settings, that it's requesting, the, uh, it's requesting permission. Okay. There you go. Okay, so now you should have access. All right, so. Yes, you're moving the mouse. This is awesome. All right. You're going through and you're highlighting and you're showing me how to do stuff. Right here. And if I choose to move the mouse at any point, I can take back control. And yes. by clicking down on the bottom of the screen, I can take over and stop the sharing from happening. You got Just it. like that. It's a great feature. I love mm. it. It's very, very I, cool. And well, and I think it's one of those um, great teaching tools. And like you said, helping mom and dad with those settings and being able to show them. And I know a lot of people are much more of a visual learner too. So it's so easy for you to go in and actually show them to have pretty much hands on how to do it. So it's very cool. Thanks so much, April. This could be a real game changer in so many different scenarios. Just, I just, I just wish that I had this tool when my dad was alive. I can't tell you how many times I was coaching him through using his computer, and eventually I would just say, "You know what, Dad? I'm going to come over," and it gave me a good excuse to go visit him. But of course, in this day and age, that might not be a practical thing to do. So this is a terrific tool, this remote access. Now, I want to share one thing with you before we leave because. I can guarantee there will be questions in the comments of people asking for this, saying they can't find the feature and it's not working in their Zoom and asking if it's only available in the paid version and not the free version. No, this is available in the free version. And if you don't see it, this is what you do. When you sign into your Zoom account, you go into your settings. This is where we turn on and off all of the different extra features that are built into Zoom, some of which may be enabled on your installation, some of which may not be enabled. But if I show you something in one of these videos that you don't have access to, chances are, if you go in here, you will find one of these little toggle switches that will allow you to turn on or off those features. And if we scroll down amongst so many features, we will find remote control. It is, there it is, right there. Remote control. During screen sharing, the person who is sharing can allow others to remote 
to control the shared content. If that is gray, turn it on, and then you will have access to this feature. Now, if you have found today's video to be useful, I have a few favors to ask of you. First of all, please give us a thumbs up, give this video a like, and share it with others who may benefit from it. Additionally, if you've not yet subscribed to our channel, what are you waiting for? Click that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and I will see you next time for more Dotto Tech. Till then, I'm Steve Dotto. Have fun storming a castle.